in a move that would raise Eyebrows even by Cold War standards of political saber rattling, the Russian embassy in Washington seemed to threaten America's F 35 fighter with Vietnam era propaganda footage. Back in February, the official handle of the Russian embassy in the U.S. tweeted the following update If a Russia ever was to see an F 35 inside its airspace, we would love to send Chief of Staff of the message with two words Remember Vietnam and F 35 will never be alone. As observed by Foxtrot Alpha, the tweet is a direct reference to a recent Brookings Institution lecture given by Air Force Chief of Staff General David Goldfein during his talk. General Goldfein gave this assessment of the F 35 capabilities. If a China or a Russia or another adversary on the globe ever were to see an F 35 inside their airspace, Goldfein said, I would love to send them all messages with two words We're here. It's not, I'm here, he said. An F 35 will never be alone. Several outlets have offered important insight into Goldfein's speech, noting that his comments came on the heels of a successful F 35's performance at the annual Red Flag exercise in Nevada. At the same Brookings event, Goldfein stressed that the F 35 exceeded our expectations when it comes to not only being able to survive, but to prosecute targets. Less covered, however, is the context behind the Russian response. On the surface, it's clearly a play on words intended as a dig at the F 35's stealth capabilities that is, an F 35 will never be alone in Russian airspace because Russian anti air systems will detect it. The Vietnam propaganda footage is also straightforward, considering the massive losses sustained by the U.S. Air Force during the Vietnam War. These losses were, in no small part, due to the hundreds of air defense systems most prolifically, the S 75 Davina and anti air cannons funneled by the Soviets to the Viet Cong. 